if you've found yourself needing to host a Zoom meeting from time to time. Perhaps you've also found yourself wondering how to set up breakout rooms in Zoom. Of course, a Zoom meeting can be just fine without them. But it can also end up feeling like, well, one big meeting. It's kind of like my cozy writing yurt. It's a great place to host one big gathering. Especially warm and cozy beside the fire. I'm going to bring my computer closer to the fire and closer to this window so that our guests can see the trees and the moss and the sky and the natural world outside. Something I think is more important than ever when we have to spend so much time on our computers. But what if you're teaching online and you want your students to work in smaller groups, something I highly recommend? Or what if you're hosting a festive family or holiday gathering and the kids want to be in one room and the teenagers want to be in another room and the adults want to be in the living room, so to speak? That's where Zoom breakout rooms can be so helpful. But they can also be intimidating. Hi, I'm Thomas from Cozy Grammar. And I'd like to show you that setting up breakout rooms in Zoom can be far easier than you might think at first. All you have to do is enable the option and then follow four key steps. I'll walk you through all of them. And I'll also include an index to these steps in the description box below so you can take in the entire video the first time around and then come back to review any steps that you might want to review. Step by step. You'll be a pro in no time. So let's get started. The most important step is to enable breakout rooms in the first place, which is why I'm going to take you to the Zoom website where we can set this up. A lot of people get frustrated because they don't realize this and then they go into the Zoom app and they can't find the breakout rooms and it's very confusing. So here's what you need to do. Log into the website in the usual way with your username and your password and go to your account page. Here we are in my account page uh, and you go under personal and you go down to settings. You will see a heck of a lot of settings appear. You don't have to worry about most of them. Go down instead to uh, among these choices go down to in meeting advanced. You click on that that will take you directly to where you need to go and you'll see the second option is breakout room. You click this pill button on the right and now you have enabled breakout rooms. Also, you'll notice that there is a new option that appears, allow host to assign participants to breakout rooms when scheduling. I highly recommend selecting this choice and saving it because this will allow you to put participants into specific breakout rooms before you open a meeting when you set up the meeting. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. That, believe it or not, is the main step. As you'll see, everything else is fairly straightforward. To show you how breakout rooms work during a meeting itself, I've already opened a Zoom meeting with five other participants who've offered to help us out. Here we are. I'll have them turn on their cameras as I introduce them one by one. We have Cozy Grammar's co-founder, producer and director, David Milkey. Hey, Thomas. Thanks for being here, David. We have my trusty Froggy, who also helps me teach. Ribbit. Thanks for being here, Froggy. Ribbit. We have my long lost and sometimes forgetful cousin, Budwell. Is this on? It is. We have cool. Aunt Cornelia. Well, I declare I can see myself. And we have one last guest who flew in with the wind. Thank you for being here, Mary P. Always a pleasure. Indubitably. Just between you and me, Aunt Cornelia doesn't exactly see eye to eye with Mary P. So having some breakout rooms will be particularly useful. Thomas! What do I do now? I'll be right there, Aunt Cornelia. So here's how you open the breakout rooms. 
Are we breaking out now? Or breaking in? Or just breaking? We're breaking out, Budwell. Cool. Step one. Navigate to your control bar at the bottom and choose Breakout Rooms. Here you'll see three options. You can assign rooms automatically, assign them manually, or let participants choose their room. Now you'll also see at the top that you have the option of how many breakout rooms to create. Here you actually have two options. You can either determine the number of breakout rooms you want in this box or in the next box. I'm going to do it in the next box. And because I want to assign people to their rooms myself, I'm going to choose Assign Manually, and then I click Create. Now, because I only uh, left the number of rooms at one, you see there's only one room. Since I have five participants uh, in addition to myself, I want to divide them into two rooms. So I'm going to go to Add Room. Now we have two rooms. If I, in the previous dialog box, had said I want to create two rooms and assign them uh, manually, I would have come to this setup. Now I'm going to assign a participant to room one. I go to room one, I hover over it, you see the assign button, I click that. And now I can choose who I want to go in this room. I want Aunt Cornelia to go in this room. And then I'll go down to room two, click assign, and I'm going to put Mary P in room two. Uh, and then let me go back to room one. I'm going to assign uh, Froggy. Gets along very well with, with Auntie, so I'm going to send Froggy to room one. And down here in room two, Cousin Budwell could use some of Mary P's kind but firm words. So let's put cool. Cousin Budwell in room two. And that leaves David Milky, who hasn't seen Aunt Cornelia in ages. So let me go back up to room one. I'm going to assign David Milky to room one. And so now all of the rooms are assigned. Now suppose at this point you want to go back and start the process over again. You can easily do that by going down to the button down here. It says recreate. That will take you back one step and you can decide to have them assigned automatically or participants choose their own rooms and so on. You can use recreate to get back there. Now we're all set. Step two. We go down to Open All Rooms. Now this is going to make a notice appear in each window that is going to tell them to click, that is to agree to go to a room. They have the option to go to another room. They click on that and that takes them to the room they want to go in. So let's have all of you click to go into your breakout rooms. Spit spot. We mustn't keep the viewers waiting. Now from here as the host, I will watch as the participants click on those, um, the option for them to go into their rooms. And I'm basically left in the main room, the, the virtual living room, if you will, what's called technically the main session. Now, let me move this out of the way so it's not hiding my face anymore. Now, as the host of the meeting, I also have the possibility of going into the different rooms. So let's do that. Let's go see how Aunt Cornelia is doing. This is step three. Go to the breakout rooms box. And if you hover over the room that you want to go to, and you hover over the number, you'll see the word join. The word join will appear. You click on that uh, button and you will be whisked. Oh, it says you, you can say, it asks if you want to join room one. I'm going to say yes. And in a matter of moments, as you can see, it's sort of doing its processing. And now I am in uh, room one. Thomas, you appeared out of nowhere. I was just telling David how newfangled all of this is. Newfangled indeed. How are the others faring? Uh, I was just going to go and check on them. I'll be right back. Uh, talk amongst yourselves. Now to leave this room, I go down to the leave room button on the lower right hand corner of the screen. Now here's a special tip. Notice that there's actually three different options. End meeting for all, leave meeting, or leave breakout room. If you accidentally pressed 
end meeting for all, the whole meeting would be over. If you pressed leave meeting, the meeting, you would leave the meeting as the host and everybody else would be there wondering where in the world you went. But since we just want to go back to the main session or the virtual living room, we click leave breakout room and we'll return to the main session. Here I am in the main session. Let's see how Budwell and Mary P are faring in room two, shall we? You know the routine now. We open the breakout rooms dialog box. We go to the room that we want to uh, enter. We go over to the far right, says join. It asks join room two. We say yes. Uh, the machinery whirls. No, no, I'm afraid I must sternly and firmly disagree, Mr. Budwell. Laughter is indeed the best medicine. Oh, Thomas, how lovely of you to pop in. These breakout rooms are a real trip. Indeed they are, Budwell. How are things going here, Mary P? Oh, splendidly. It won't be any time at all till Budwell and I are having tea and laughing on the ceiling. Perfect. We'll see you back in the main room then. Okay, so now you know how to get back to the main room. We go to leave room, we click that, and we select leave breakout room, and that returns me back to the main session, uh, the living room, if you will. By the way, suppose I wanted to say something to everybody at the same time. I can do that by selecting the breakout rooms option, and you'll see at the bottom of this box, it says broadcast message to all. If I click on that, I can say, hello. Let's return to the main room, for example. And I broadcast that, and at the top of everyone's screen, they'll see that message. Hello, let's return to the main room, and we'll return, uh, they'll, they'll know that I, as the host, am calling everybody back. By the way, in each breakout room they have their own individual chat box so they can chat amongst themselves if they have a larger group and i won't see that here and the other breakout rooms won't see that so just be aware of that that's why there is this broadcast message to all option now step four how to end the breakout rooms to end the breakout rooms we simply go to the breakout rooms dialog box and at the bottom you'll see close all rooms. So I'll select close all room rooms. Everybody will see at the top of their box uh, a, a window saying giving them the option to come back. Uh, if they choose that option they will be sent back immediately. Otherwise uh, they can chat and chat and then at the end of those 60 seconds they'll be automatically returned to the main session. So uh, right now the timer is ticking you can see down here the breakout rooms will close in 33 seconds or so. Let's, uh, let's make, we'll make time go a little more quickly here. And now we're coming to the end of the, uh, the timer, to one, and now they're being whooshed back into the main Whoa. room. Whoa, we're back where we started, man. Well, of course we're back in the main session. Where else would we be? Oh, Aunt Cornelia, do leave a little room for wonder. Well, I never. Ladies, uh, I'm going to show the audience just a couple more things. So if you can hold on just a few seconds more. Is that okay? Of course, Thomas. Great. So I just wanted to show you a few more things about this breakout rooms dialog box. In this far left corner, there are options. And you click on this, there are some interesting options. The first option is that you can have participants choose their own room. However, this only works if all of the participants have updated their Zoom software, so I wouldn't worry about that one as an option just yet. The second option says we can allow participants to return to the main session at any time. If you want them to be able to whoosh themselves back and forth, you can keep that checked. However, if you'd like to exert more control, you can unclick that and they'll just stay in their rooms until you bring them back. Um, this third option, automatically move all assigned participants into breakout rooms, means that rather than them having to choose or click the option to go out of the main room into the breakout room, you can just click this and they'll be automatically whooshed out to the breakout room. 
though that might be disorienting. It just depends on how you want to run your meeting. Finally, down here there's a couple more options. Notice that there's the countdown after closing the breakout room, and this is normally set for 60 seconds. If you'd like people to have to come back sooner, you can choose 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds. Um, you can also eliminate that entirely so that when you press the button to come back to the main room, then everybody will suddenly be whooshed back to the main room. It's totally up to you what you choose. Those are the options that you'll see under the options, um, this little gear icon and the bottom of the screen. That's all you really need to know to get started. But if you'd like to assign your breakout rooms in advance, I can show you how to do that too. The easiest way to do it is through the Zoom web page. You go to your account, my account, you go to your meetings tab, and you schedule your meeting, you set up your meeting, and if you go to the bottom of your set up your meeting window, you'll see among the meeting options at the very bottom of the page, breakout room pre-assign. This is because we selected this option earlier, this appears here. And you'll notice you have the option to create rooms. You click create rooms. You click on the plus symbol here to create one room. You can create another room. And then here you simply add in the email addresses of the participants that you want in each room. So we put our name at whatever their email address may be. Do the same thing in the second room. This way, the rooms will be set up before you start the meeting. However, as I hope you've been able to see for yourself, it's not that difficult to do so in the meeting itself. So I'll just close this down. And now you're all set to be a breakout room pro. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in a comment below. I'll do my best to respond to them personally. Thomas? Thomas, have you forgotten about us? No, I haven't, Aunt Cornelia. I'll be right there. Thanks again for joining us. And all good wishes to you. Okay, I'm back. Thomas, I believe Mr. Budwell has something to share with the group. Oh, is that so? Yes, he'd like to tell us a little joke. It's actually quite a good one. It goes, a Let man... him tell it, dear Aunt Cornelia. Really? Please proceed, Mr. Budwell. A man walks into a bar... And? And says, ouch. Ha. Huh. Okay, that, that's a pretty good joke, Budwell. Thank you. <laughs>